Hello once again. Uh, this is another segment of our men uh, word of the month, uh, word of encouragement. And uh, this year we have taken a different approach. We're asking the men of our church to uh, uh, speak about their favorite their favorite scripture, uh, their their favorite favorite person or story in the Bible. And today I am honored and privileged to talk to my dear friend. I tease him a lot. He's a he's a easy guy to tease because he's just a good, fun, sanctified uh, young man. And the person of Deacon David Moses. And Deacon Moses wears many hats in our church. Now, let me, let me, let me see. Now, he's one, one of our deacons at the church. He serves on our missions, world mission department at the church. Uh, most people identify with him because he's one of our head ushers. And he is, a, he is that smiling face that people see when they walk in the door. It makes people feel welcome. Before COVID, he give you a big bear hug. <laughs> now we hope to kind of distance. Uh, he serves in the men's department. Serves uh, uh, with the men's choir. Uh, uh, Deacon Moses, I see. What else do you do at the church? Well, I really don't think about it, Pastor. It makes it easier to to greet people. You know to. You really don't want all these accolades. They really don't need to know what I do. Sure they do. Sure they do. Sure they do. <laughs> I, it's just a, I just like helping people. That's yes, that's do. that's what I'm here for. Okay. If I was I helping people, I feel like I'm one step closer to doing the master's will. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Deacon Moses is going to share with us now his most favorite or one of his most favorite scriptures in the Bible. So Deacon, tell us what that scripture is. Uh, it's actually Philippians 4 and 13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, that's the foundation of my belief in God. Now, now, Deacon Moses, I'm going to tease you because we can hear that accent, that 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 uh, Caribbean accent. Mm. And so when you say you can do all things, that means you're the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. You can you got a whole bunch of jobs. Is, is, is that what you mean? Well, I actually mean that. I can I can help people in everything that they do. I don't have to be a professional at it. I'm one of those people that believes that if someone needs help, I might not be the mason or the carpenter or the butcher, but I will help in some form while speaking about the word of God because mm -hmm. he encourages me and I'm glad about this. So I must find ways the hell and if you realize who is the author here all the right author of scripture in here that says that I've been, I've been all things so that I might win Christ okay okay and that author is who Paul not Saul Paul but my background is based on Saul Okay, all right. How so? How so, Deacon? Okay, because, you see, Paul was Saul before he be became Paul, actually. Yeah? And all right. Saul, that is where the body of Paul's sins reside. That's where the body of, the, of the, all his sins reside. When he was called by Christ, he was changed. He wasn't just changed by a little bit today and a little bit tomorrow and by the end of the year he, Paul was changed instantly. All right. 
that is what that is, that that is that is what I mean by by in Paul. Paul, he a part of him or Saul, a part of is a part of me and probably mm -hmm. almost everyone I know. All of us, yeah, yeah. I guess you could say we all have a history. Yes. Or we were all saved or delivered from something. Right. And, okay. And, when, okay. and when that happens, it brings a long change in us that people could see. Okay. okay. No, no, we, you know, mostly a sermon, when you preach to us, Pastor, I'll tell you something that most people don't understand that. We all had a life before we before Christ called us. Yes, yes. Okay? Because we're not in that life anymore, okay? We we look different to other people. Mm -hmm. Because those things that we used to do, we don't do them anymore. No more. Mm -hmm. So we look different. And that I, I want to be able to project the best me at all times. And the okay. The way to project the best me is that I don't making friends is difficult if you really think about it. But that smile that you see me with all the time <laughs> that helps yeah. open doors to be able to communicate with people. Okay. 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 Now, when Paul wrote this in Philippians, I believe he was in jail. This is one of his um, jail or prison epistles. Yes. What do you think was on his mind when he said, I can do all things through Christ? What, what do you think was on his mind? Well, I never really thought about that because okay. I understood what he was trying to explain to us. Actually, the, that, that whole scripture and all that's in that that um chapter okay is actually a thank you note okay all right because he was instructing the, the other the other saints on what to do for christian unity okay okay that was this that was a that, that was a simple plan actually to, to have them to keep being encouraged then if you will that don't mind he's going through this circumstance at the time where he was, that knowing that there are people out there, you know, still mm -hmm. worshiping and still doing the things of God and still raising offerings for him. Okay, 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 all right. Well, if you could go back in time or Call Paul forward today. Give me one question you would ask him. If you can interview Paul the way I'm interviewing you now, give me one question that you would ask him. Should be told, Pastor, it would be the easiest question in the world because it requires no thinking. Okay. What was it worth it? Was it worth it? Wow. Was it worth it? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, most people ask questions like, uh, if you had anything to change in your life, wow. go, going through what you have already lived, if you have anything to change, what would it be? That's not the answer, really. That everybody comes up with simple answers. Okay, okay. Okay. But this is a question for the ages because we know not what his future held after he departed this earth. We don't know when he walked into heaven. No. Okay. So the question is, if I'm able to see him again and ask, yeah. ask him before, at that take present, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Because our struggle is the same. <laughs> Think about, we have a struggle going. Was it worth it? Mm. It's a, it's a it's a question mm -hmm. that most people might not really think about because yeah. everybody's still deep down in our minds. We have this um, fairy tale, you know. We don't know, and most people try to judge an outcome that 
they are no business judging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not their job. <laughs> not their job. Okay. Wow. Paul, I like all, it. Yes. Paul went through all these trials and tribulations, and he made it out on the other side, even in his pain. That, that is what makes me love this even more, because I realized something. That those that don't try to shift the blame always ask the Lord to forgive those that are doing it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. The of last, the first shall be the last. Mm. Then, then's concerned about their health. It's like a man dying on his bed, and he he worried about what he will eat tomorrow or all of these things. His concern is for those coming behind him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it worth it? I guess the shipwreck being beaten and left for dead and mm -hmm. his battles with those people that wanted to uphold the Mosaic law. Right. Was it worth it? Digging, I like that. I like that. I, I, that's something to think about. Because he he yeah. actually bore the stripes that Christ Christ yeah bore. he did he did yeah. and he, he did. did it he did it with a smile or while teaching somebody else mm. Yeah. Mm. wow yeah, that's that is why it it's useless to to envision a life that if it had changed something in the past if it will help the future. Think about it. You change, mm -hmm. tweak anything from the past will affect the future. It probably might not be in for good. Mm. Wow. But most times it's not for good. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had, okay, a couple more, boy, boy, time is running. A uh, couple of questions. Have you had an occasion that you ever had to use this scripture to kick you back in the gear or to encourage you or to lift you up? Have you anything you want to share with us? Pastor, my life is an open book. I'll tell okay. you that right now. Okay. That is a scripture that I've learned that I must say every day. Every day. Every okay. day. Because every day we need to be encouraged. Because I'll tell you why. Every time. I turn the radio on or the TV mm -hmm. on. I don't get good news. You're never getting good news. Yeah. Everything is bad and about evil. Mm -hmm. At that time, that night I was watching a documentary about kids getting killed and tears coming down my eyes mm -hmm. because I could feel what the people feel. Okay, so I must I must use this scripture. Mm -hmm. Every time to remind me from where I came. I, I come from humble beginnings. I'm I'm not I'm not a flashy kind of person. My wife will tell you, David don't like putting out things so other people could see. And no, that's not me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not into flashy stuff. Okay. I just like uh, uh, um I like things clean around me. That's all. I'm okay. simple. I'm simple. My birthday, you don't want to give me anything for my birthday or for Christmas. I'm simple. I'm just glad to be alive and still able to say something. Mm -hmm. so I use that word. I have occasion to use it every day because nothing that happens in this world is actually promised for me. So I have to, I have to thank God every time I see him. So that's why I say that scripture every morning. Every day. Okay. That doesn't have to be going on. It's just a scripture that motivates me. Let it lets me know, hey, look, keep moving, keep moving, keep walking. Mm -hmm. you know? Keep speaking a word and just wait and see what would happen. Okay. All right. Yeah, we, Last question. Okay. Because the time is just flying by. This is good. Can you think of anything? Now we know we, we I heard you talk about. When Paul was Saul and God brought him out of some things like you did, 
after Saul was converted and became Paul. Can you draw anything that you and Paul had in common? Christ. All right. We have Christ. We have Christ in, in common. That is why I would ask him, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Because I'm walking down the same path he's walking that yeah, leads yeah. to heaven. Okay? I want to know. He's he been, he gone, he reached that goal before me. So that's that's what I would actually want to. All right. So y'all share Christ in common. That's pretty big. That's pretty big, D. That's pretty Thank big. You. Thank you. Okay, we, we gotta get out of here. So uh you're gonna close us out. I want you to again read your scripture and give some parting words of encouragement to anyone that might be watching our conversation today. Please, sir, the floor is yours. Okay, my script actually was Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Uh, I would, my part in which actually will be that to hold on, never give up, never doubt who you are, persevere, grab hold, get, get, get one of those bulldog grips and hold on to this ride. Don't let nobody talk you off. And that will offer that walk because Christ is the goal. That's no. that's that's my part in it. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Pastor. Love you, brother. Love you. I'll see you in a while. All right.